Hey, hey, Tony Gas is here, popping in. I'm uh, I'm writing a book this weekend. I was actually doing a few little snippets, little videos, putting together about my process. But uh, on break right now, schedule pushed back a little bit today, and uh, got to hop on a coaching call today. Got a couple coaching calls, but wanting to pop in and just you know check in and get you to really remember what we got going on out here and being able to as i'm writing this book here is for men and one of the things that i'm touching on i'm talking about you know working in the dark what you doing in the dark what you doing with nobody looking and this is something that's very important for men and women because as humans we get so caught up being scammers and liars and manipulators and deceivers and a lot of the things that we do in the dark the things that we do when nobody's looking the thing when we have a little bit of free time you know what what do we do with that time who are we in those moments when nobody is looking when nobody but God can see us are we making pure and righteous choices and that's something that's very hard you know it's a very hard concept it's something that we don't really want to talk about we don't really want to think about and it's a lot of it's a lot of darkness you know it's a lot of darkness it's a lot of sin it's a lot of pain it's a lot going on that we don't confront and address. And and life starts to, you know, tell a story sometimes. Life will tell a story at times to where sometimes our attitude will tell on us. Our eyes will tell on us. Our mentality the way we carry ourselves, it'll tell on us. And we don't oftentimes think about it and really process what we are doing in regards to building our life and who we are becoming. Who we're becoming on a daily basis based on those daily habits. And we don't identify the generational curses nor do we take pride in being different and being better oftentimes we get comfortable and we get complacent and we say oh everybody's doing it you know everybody's doing it everybody does this everybody does that and we don't think about the personal responsibility and the personal joy of us doing what we should do and we're not thinking enough about breaking the generational curses in our family and us taking and changing our lineage because the battles that we have to fight we don't fight them alone because when we leave, when we expire, those battles are going to be passed down to our children. If we have children or your lineage, your next of kin, your family, like you represent your ancestors, you represent your mother and your father, like you represent something in somebody and you got to get to a place to where you can be pure. And it's hard. It's hard. You know, it's, it's not something that's easy. It's not something that's comfortable. It's not something that's often talked about. You have to have separation before elevation. The Lord gave me that a long time ago, and um, it went viral. And I started seeing people posted all over. 
but you must have separation before elevation. And what that means is that you got to be able to come out from around doing the things that everybody is doing. You can't do everything your friends are doing. You can't do everything your family is doing. You can't do everything where you come from. You can't do that. And you got to be able to stand on what you stand on. You got to be willing to be different. And that's important. It's important. And it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's something that we got to think about. You know, it's something we got to think about. It's something we got to be real on. It's something that it won't be a situation where we just get to choose how we're seen, where we get to choose the results and the consequences. Y'all got to forgive me for my racing right now. That's why I'm talking slower than, than normal. I talk slow sometimes, but I talk slower than normal because I'm in the process of writing my book. So I really ain't supposed to be shooting no video, but this was on my spirit today because it's a lot that I can't say. And, and the reason I can't say it is because I don't like to step on toes. But it's choices. It's choices that got to be made on a daily basis. And, and I realized by making different choices, it will separate you. It will isolate you. You will have to walk alone in seasons of your life until you meet people who are like-minded and who are doing the same type of things that you're doing. And that doesn't come easy don't come easy and you gotta and you, you gotta find peace in it and when you do it there will be a reward for it and the reward gonna feel so sweet that it's gonna also help bring about the peace that you need and that's one thing about it is I've received the spoils of spiritual warfare meaning winning in the dark winning spiritually and tapping into that peace, tapping into that focus, tapping into that favor and experiencing life on that side to where I feel good, I feel good. Don't want to go back to the old man that I was. Don't want to do those things anymore. And so I want to encourage you on that. And God bless you. I'm going to get on off of here. Call my wife while I'm on my writing break. Get my coaching call in. I'll be in touch. Hey, keep working on you. When nobody's looking, keep getting over them bad habits. Keep breaking them bad habits. Keep doing the right thing. Clean up your life. Live a righteous life. Do the right thing when nobody's looking. Because God sees you. And the results will be determined by the work that you put in. Listen to me now. Your life is on the line. I ain't playing with you.